Jin Dobri Chesh and hello. Today, guys, I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the seven things that I actually like more in the US than I like in Poland. So, before you dislike or maybe leave a negative comment, please, number one, just hear me out. Number two, these are just my observations. Number three, I've been to Poland around five or six times. And if you've been to both countries and you still completely disagree with me, then let me know in the comments down below because I'm really eager to know why. And also this is a list that is not bashing Poland in any way. My entire channel is dedicated to Poland because I love it so much. This is more of just a list of maybe some of the things that Polish people would find interesting to hear that is done better in the US than in Poland, if that makes any sense. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's just get started. All right, so the first thing on my list of what I like more in the US than in Poland is the price of gas or petrol. I guess, you know, most Polish people probably grew up to British English, so petrol is really the term, but in the US, we just call it gas or gasoline. So yeah, uh, the price of gas in Poland is near double the size of what it is in the US. I mean, that goes along with not just petrol or gas, but also diesel as well. Now, I think this is pretty much all of Europe, and most of these are on this list. But, I mean, yeah, the price of gas is just insanely high. I mean, in order to afford paying for gas all the time, I guess you're not going to be driving as much, and it's really going to deter people from driving as well. And I'm going to get to another point later that's related to driving. I mean, it's pretty crazy to think, like, you know, earnings are much less in Poland than in the U.S., let's just be honest. And with that, the price of gas is twice as much in Poland than in the U.S., so... I mean, that would just be pretty difficult to have, and honestly, me speaking, if I was in Poland, I don't know if I would be driving a whole lot just because of that. Alright, so the second one on my list is paying for bathrooms. Now, I know I'm going to get slack for this because I know that in, you know, for example, New York City or Los Angeles, you know, you're going to have to pay for a service to use their bathrooms. But I mean, without speaking about those two cities, I mean, ultimately, you don't really have to pay for the bathroom when you go anywhere. And for example, when you go to Poland, I mean, yeah, you can go in the malls or in like gas stations like Orlin or um, different places like that. Um, then, yeah, you can get the bathroom for free. But other than that, if you're anywhere in Poland, you're going to be paying for the bathroom. And as someone who drinks a lot of water, this kind of scared me when I was in Poland. So, yeah, I mean, just plan out your bladder and when you're going to go to the bathroom because bathrooms may be limited and also not just that, but you're probably going to have to pay as well. So number three on my list is screens for windows. Now, I don't really know why Poland hasn't adopted this or really, I think, Europe in general. So, for example, at my girlfriend's house in the summer, there would be bees and bugs constantly flying through the windows. And yeah, I mean, it was just kind of interesting that they just don't have screens on the windows. And, you know, I, I guess most Polish people would probably say, oh, it's just not really an issue. You know, an occasional bee or spider or whatever is going through the window. But I mean, just over time, it's kind of annoying having bugs going through your windows. And this is something that I appreciate about US windows, as weird as that sounds is that you know we have these screens when we open up the windows and there's no bugs coming in but yeah it's just something that i like a lot more in the us than in poland all right so number four on my list is actually water is not free when you go to the restaurant the waiter or waitress is going to bring you a bottle of water and then they're just going to pour it into your cup and it's just enough to fill a regular glass and you are paying for that and i'm pretty sure it's normally around four zwati depending on what you know city or you know restaurant you're going to but i mean this is just something that kind of bothers me because because here in the US, I guess we're extremely privileged because you can just go to the restaurant and you can get unlimited refills of water and it's completely free and you don't have to pay for any of it. Also, water fountains themselves. See, in Poland, they're actually pretty hard to come by and you're only really going to find them in malls. Now, you know, in the US, we're used to going to like any tourist site or really most cities and you can find water fountains if you go near, you know, public bathrooms and stuff. Typically, they have them there. But in Poland, they're kind of hard to come by and you're not going to find them in museums typically or in like old towns or really like any nice part of town. In fact, I don't know if I've ever seen a water fountain at all besides like, you know, in a gas station maybe or in the malls and things like that. I don't think I've seen ones in museums or 
you know, other public areas or, you know, popular tourist areas. I, I don't think I've seen any. So yeah, it's just something that I like more in the US than in Poland. All right, so number five on my list of something that I like more in the US than in Poland is the level of smoking. See, a lot of Polish people will tell me that the level of smoking is going down in Poland a lot, but compared to what I'm used to in the US, it's a lot, honestly. I, I'll just be honest. Like, I was not really used to it. See, in the US, it seems like there's not really a whole lot of people smoking. And now comparing that to Poland, it seems like a lot of people still smoke in Poland. And yeah, I mean, this was something that honestly surprised me. You know, I mean, like I said earlier, I've heard that it's been going down and I've heard that, for example, like Greece, there's, you know, tons of smokers there and things like that. But, you know, when I'm just comparing it to Poland, this is honestly something that definitely surprised me. And by saying this, I'm not saying I hate smokers or anything like that. I just don't really like inhaling other people's smoke. So, yeah, I... I'm, I'm not trying to offend anyone. I just don't like breathing in people's smoke. So yeah, I, I don't know. Anyways. All right. So just like everything on this list, this next one is going to be a little bit random. So number six on my list is the price of driver's license. Now in the US where I live, it cost me around $60. And in Poland, I see here the average price is around 600 US dollars, which is quite a lot. And that's, I mean, that's a lot of money right there just for a driver's license. Now, I'm not sure if this is the exact number for all of Poland or it kind of varies with different you know, districts and void ships and uh, regions of Poland. But I see here that that's what the price is telling me. So now you can also let me know in the comment section down below because I'm kind of curious as to what you guys paid for a driver's license in Poland. I just remember my girlfriend was talking about how expensive it was. And then when I told her the price of mine, she was like, what? And, you know, she couldn't really believe me because that's what the price is. And that's what she was so used to hearing. So, yeah, it's just something that I like a little bit more in the US than in Poland. And yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of money and I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate it if it was a bit cheaper as well. Now, I've also heard that the price of the driver's license is actually steadily increasing and it's really because they don't want as many drivers as there are now in the country. Let me know if that's actually true because I don't know if that is. I've just heard that they're really trying to limit drivers and promote more of, you know, walking, riding the bus and, you know, or bike or, you know, something like that. Let me know in the comment section down below if that's true and that's happening in your city. All right. So the final one in number seven on my list is the lack of accessibility with disabled people. So recently I was skiing with my mom and she broke her knee on the ski slope. So basically I was kind of thinking because now she's in a wheelchair after surgery that, you know, if I was going to take her to Poland right now, like it would be near impossible. So before I talk about Poland, let me talk about the US. And that is that every restaurant, every building, uh, basically every national park and really most areas in the US are disabled people friendly, I guess you could say, you know, for, you know, what I'm thinking about is people in wheelchairs. And I was thinking that, you know, most of these areas here in the US are like pretty easy to get in and out of like with a wheelchair. But I was thinking in Poland, like most of the restaurants I went into, it would be, you know, near impossible. Like you wouldn't even be able to do it. Like the space would be too thin or, you know, too narrow for a wheelchair to get in. And I'm not talking about like the oversized large wheelchairs for extremely, you know, obese people. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, you know, people like my mom, for example. Obviously, you know, going to the old town would be probably pretty hard too because of all the bricks and the roads and things like that. But I'm not saying, you know, to dig up the road and, you know, put a new one in. I'm just basically saying that, you know, for disabled people, it's probably a lot easier in the US than in Poland. And in Poland, I saw a lot of people with crutches. In fact, I didn't really see too many people in wheelchairs at all. If if not, I, I, don't, I don't know if I've actually seen really any. And so for a lot of people who are disabled, who, you know, can't even walk or have difficulty, it must be pretty hard to, you know, kind of live with that in Poland. And I've seen people in Poland with crutches and that's not really common at all. And I'm talking about the crutches that kind of hold you up, like from the base of your elbows, right? But yeah, I know this is kind of a weird one, but I was just thinking like with my mom, this would be kind of difficult to wheel her around in Poland and, you know, be successful getting most places like you would be in the US. All right, guys, so let me know what you think of this list in the comment section down below. I'm honestly pretty interested as to what your opinion for these points are going to be, because, you know, these are just some of the things that I like a little bit more in the US than in Poland. And I'm kind of curious if you guys have been to Poland in the US as well. And, you know, if you think this is a true list or not, 
I mean, if not, let me know in the comment section down below, or maybe you have something to add, then yeah, I mean, just let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, like I said, this is not a video bashing or disliking Poland. This is simply a video that's really just showing my observations of some of the things that I like more in the US than in Poland. And for the Polish people watching this, maybe this will show a little bit of, you know, the perspectives or differences from the two countries as well. I don't know. I'm just the guy that makes some videos about Poland, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I want to thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Dziękuję i do widzenia.